Britain, Italy, and Japan have recently announced to team up and jointly develop the world's first sixth-generation fighter jet, that will harness the artificial intelligence which is considered a vital technology for future aerial combat missions. This sixth-generation fighter program, known as the Tempest Fighter, was first initiated by the Royal Air Force in early 2018. The Bay System which is a main designer of the Tempest Fighter program painted a futuristic picture of the fighter jet. They said, the Tempest will bring cutting-edge advancements in defense technology, it will not only develop and incorporate the next-generation advanced stealth technology which will make it almost invisible to radar, but will also have a massive computer brain that will allow it to use the swarm drone technology, as well as deep learning while using a combination futuristic weapon systems such as lasers and hypersonic missiles. The Bay system claims that the Tempest fighter jet will use the gesture control and eye tracking technology to reduce the pilot's workload and identify fatigue and mental illness. There will be no physical dials or screens in the cockpit as all the dials will be visible to pilot using a next generation integrated head mounted display. However, the most revolutionary technology this program will introduce is the use of AI technology in the aircraft. The sensors inside the pilot's helmet will monitor the brain signals and his health, it will gather the data on the pilot's behavior and actions during the flight time to form a database. This will not only allow the AI to take over control of the aircraft if the pilot passes out during a flight operation, but at the same time it can provide vital assistance to the aircraft in order to evade the incoming missiles in case it comes under attack from an enemy aircraft or an air defense system. Any new military innovation or new weapons program costs a lot of money, especially if the program is related to Air Force aviation. As we saw with the fifth generation F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program, the F-35 program costs the US and allied partners a whopping $412 billion. The United Kingdom's defense sources made widely different claims regarding the amount of money the sixth generation Tempest fighter program will cost, but none of them thinks it will cost any less than $400 billion. While military aircraft projects are notorious for skyrocketing costs and delays as the project progresses from design to prototype phase. But if the project proves a success it will most likely attract potential investments from major players such as United States as they don't have a next generation fighter project as yet. And since the prototype of the Tempest fighter will be ready by mid-2025, so there is high probability it can even get pre-orders from many European and Gulf states. However, until the Tempest fighter program matures and enter into development phase, the United Kingdom, Italy and Japan will have to withstand the cost on their own and will have to sign the cost-sharing arrangements based on their national budgets for this project as it demands dozens of billions of dollars each year. To keep up with the changing demands of aerial warfare, in early 2018 the British Air Force announced a commitment to the development of a sixth-generation fighter program by unveiling of the mock-up design of the Tempest Air Superiority Fighter concept at Farnborough. The aircraft is the embodiment of what the next frontline fighter of the Royal Air Force could look like as the service will eventually be forced to seek a successor to its fleet of Eurofighter Typhoons in the next two decades. As it stands, the Tempest remains a concept form at its core. The aircraft is being developed under the initiative name of Future Combat Air System or FCAS. The current air superiority standard remains the fourth-generation legacy fighters which are battle-tested, economical, and grant access to a plethora of weapon options across the globe. The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, introduced in 2005, marked the beginning of the stealth-featured fifth-generation fighter trend which has since been mimicked to an extent by the other global powers like Russia and China. There are other fifth-generation fighter programs also starting to take shape such as the fifth-generation TFX fighter program of Turkey, and the KFX fighter program of South Korea to name the few. But apart from the United States, China is the only country that have produced their fifth-generation J-20 fighters in good numbers. There are around about 200 J-20 fighter aircrafts in operational service with the Chinese Air Force. However, United Kingdom is so far the only country that has looked into the future by started working on the, the development of a sixth-generation fighter program. The Tempest fighter design features a shape and lines are somewhat similar to the United States fifth-generation F-22 Raptor. The Tempest fighter has a delta-shaped design. Its airframe carries the usual low observable traits such as smooth contours, chinned edges, and a few protrusions. The shape of its wings and tails suggests the Tempest fighter is designed to be an air superiority fighter suited specifically for air-to-air -air combat. 
The Tempest fighter will carry a pair of engines in a typical side-by-side -side arrangement, but will be placed hidden behind the angled inlets deep inside the airframe, thus maximizing the stealth capability of the aircraft. Rolls-Royce will develop a next-generation engine specifically designed to fulfill the needs of the Tempest fighter. The engine will provide necessary power and enhance the performance to increase the survivability of both pilot and the aircraft over contested airspaces. The Tempest fighter will of course have an internal weapons bay to carry payload internally without increasing its radar cross-section. The Tempest fighter's fuselage is expected to be larger than the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter in order to accommodate the futuristic weapon systems such as lasers, swarm drones as well as the hypersonic missiles internally. However, the Tempest fighter will have the options to carry fuel tanks or air-to-ground armaments externally as well. The cockpit of the Tempest fighter aircraft will have no dials or meters, everything regarding the status and performance of their aircraft will be feeding to the pilot through the next-generation AR and VR displays sensitive to the pilot gestures and eye movement. The pilot will be able to command the aircraft through his eyeballs. The AI will take control in case the pilot got unconscious or lose control of the aircraft, and hence will fly on autopilot. The Tempest will use a range of modern communication channels to share data securely with headquarters as well as other manned or unmanned military aircrafts. As we know, the United Kingdom announced to jointly produce the Tempest fighter aircraft with Italy and Japan to share the cost of the project with these countries. However, there are other nations that also shown keen interest in the Tempest fighter program. These nations are India, Turkey, Spain, and Saudi Arabia. The British aero industry has already begun and matured smaller programs in these countries over the past few decades, where they gained critical experience that is needed for the development and production of combat platforms. These countries along with many other European and South Asian countries may also want to join this futuristic venture, and in fact may even place pre-orders in good numbers for the Tempest fighter aircraft. The speculations regarding the Allied partners joining the Tempest fighter aircraft program will get more clear as the program progresses from concept to design and eventually to the prototype phase. That's all on the topic for now, if you like our content, be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get updates about our future videos, also, give us your valuable feedback how we can further improve our content. Thank you and have a great day.